Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Ride Share Stories. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do. Also ring the bell for notifications. Before we get started, if you have a crazy Uber or Lyft experience, whether you're a passenger or a driver, record yourself, send it my way, and maybe we can feature you on the channel. So let's talk about cash rides. Uh, are they allowed with Uber or Lyft? And the answer is flat out no. Uh, there's a number of reasons why cash rides aren't allowed. Uh, and if you're caught with uh, taking cash rides, uh, then that you could be deactivated, uh, as well as a couple other things. But first and foremost, um, I see often when I'm driving people trying to hail down uh, Uber and Lyft vehicles so they can get in them. Uh, let's start off by saying Uber and Lyft are not cabs. Uh, you need to use the app uh, in order to actually order a ride. Uh, I see it probably once a night where somebody's trying to hail me down um, and I just drive right by them. Uh, there has been a couple of circumstances where I will pull up uh, to an area uh, waiting for a passenger to get into the car uh, where people will come up and try to get a ride. Um, and then I've also had one instance uh, where uh, there was a, a group of people that I was driving that got were getting out of my vehicle and two women tried getting in my vehicle to get a ride and they weren't customers or passengers via Uber or Lyft at all. Um, so here's a quick clip of that and what happened and then also what you guys should be doing if you aren't already. Uh, so here you go. Check it out and I'll see you right after. Can I help you? Is this the right guy? Yes. Huh? Hi. Um. What? Who are you? Pro. Who are you? Do you want to take us? Huh? We are a hurdle and then. Center. No, I have somebody coming. So get out. All right, so yeah, if you see people who are on the side of the road trying to hail you down, just pass them by. If you actually get unlucky enough where people just get in your vehicle uh, by chance like that, uh, you kick them out. Uh, <laughs> there's so many different reasons why you shouldn't take cash rides. Uh, first, it's against Uber and Lyft's terms of service. Uh, you could be deactivated if you are found uh, taking cash rides. Uh, you can actually be deactivated on both platforms very easily uh, if they both find out. Uh, so don't do it. It's not worth it. Also, uh, Uber and Lyft don't like it because they're not getting paid. In each fare, uh, you'll see Uber and Lyft's fees and then you'll see your paid fees. Uh, so yeah, Uber and Lyft will not be getting paid. Uh, also, it does not show up on record anywhere. Uh, as that ride ever happens. So, you know, if there's any issues that you have or any issues that they have uh, the, against you or something, uh, you're not really protected. Uh, so you want to make sure you stay protected. Also with insurance, if you are driving uh, a ride that's not under the Uber or Lyft platform uh, and something happens, your personal insurance will find that loophole that says you're getting paid for a ride and they won't pay. Uh, also, uh, with Uber and Lyft not being uh, an actual ride on their platform, uh, their insurance won't cover it either because there was no ride that happened. Uh, so it will fall all on you as a driver. Uh, you know, don't do that then. Uh, don't allow it. Don't let it happen. Uh, another cu couple of reasons is uh, if you ever talk to cab drivers, one of the big things is that they run the risk of not getting paid, period. Uh, people can go in the ride and then try to jump out the window, uh, open the door, pull out uh, something to get out of paying. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that uh, you do it under the Lyft and uh, Uber platform because it is cashless for a reason. Uh, you are going to get paid right away. So when a customer orders a ride, uh, that 
goes right on their credit card and then you get paid immediately. Uh, so that's definitely a great reason to keep doing it. And one last thing I want to talk about when it comes to uh, cashless and cash rides, uh, is cash tips allowed? And the answer is yes. Cash tips are allowed in both Uber and Lyft. Uh, Uber has told me when I had talked to them that you are supposed to verify that it is a cash tip uh, or that it is a tip in general uh, just because of a couple of different reasons. Um, but you are supposed to verify that it is a cash tip uh, versus paying for the ride uh, in a cash manner. Uh, so yes, cash tips are allowed uh, in both platforms. So if anybody wants to tip you in cash, you can take it. There is no problem with that. Uh, just verify it's a cash tip according to Uber. Yeah, other than that, do not take cash rides, but you can take cash tips. So with that being said, that's the end of today's video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button or ring the bell for notifications, make sure you hit that. As always, never drink and drive, always tip your drivers, and we'll see you next time.